Brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Here's another show from the 2016 Women's College World Series. All right. Good evening. At this time, we have Auburn University on the day. It's, uh, starting with head coach, Coach Myers, uh, student athlete, Casey Cooper, Carly Wallace, Jade Rose, Maddie Gibson, and Kaylee Carlson. Carlson. Uh, coach, we'll start with general comments about the game, and then we'll open it up for questions. I, I couldn't be prouder of a, a bunch of ladies that, uh, that sit to the right and the ones that are not here. They did a phenomenal job. It wasn't as pretty as we would have liked. It wasn't as easy as we would have liked. But I think you saw the fight. I think you saw the heart. Uh, they beat a very talented, very good Florida State team that's great talent. Uh, and, and great coaching. So I am extremely proud of the Auburn softball team. And uh, I think I'll stop there. All right. Uh, just raise your hand, uh, name, affiliation, and who the question's from. We'll start back here. Casey, I think this game's going to be remembered for the uh, for the home runs and the game winning, you know, at bat there at the end. But your bare hand play to save a run in the first inning, uh, Victoria's diving catch. That's I mean, that's really what almost saved the game for you guys. What was your question? Yeah. <laughs> was, was there a question? How, impor how important were those plays? I mean, the, the bare handed yeah. play and the, the diving catch. Question. question mark. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's what Auburn softball is. And, you know, we make the good plays and the great pay plays come along. Uh, playing at Auburn softball, we expect you to make the routine plays and the great plays will come. So that's what our coaches live by. And Vic knew that when she dove for the ball, that Tiffany would be right behind her if she didn't catch it. And right when she came up, she said, guys, I got that one. So uh, we, were, we were so proud of her. And, you know, we're definitely pulling for that number one on SC Top 10 right there. Maddie, Tony Sakala, Aniston Star. Can you kind of take us through what's going through your head when you're rounding those bases uh, in the eighth? I wasn't stopping. Coach, <laughs> coach earlier in the year stopped me on a triple, and I wasn't stopping this time. So. I wasn't stopping. <laughs> Jason Kersey from SEC Country. Uh, Clint, when you took this job three years ago, did you have any idea at that time that this level of success would be possible this quickly? I'm looking for a humble way to answer that question <laughs> because the answer is yes. The answer is yes. I mean, we be I believe in the people I work with, in, if they buy in, which, you know, we, we've proven that they have, and if they work and, and commit, great things happen. I mean, we still got softball to play, but having the opportunity to play for a national championship is something that we've talked about since we got there. And again, it's them Not buying really. in. It's them buying in to, to the hard work and, and to the commitment of uh, practice and, and weight room and, and everything else. Um, yes. <laughs> Jerry Lee Willie Jr., the College Sports Report. Coach, stand with that topic. What was the, the, some, uh, the one basic thing that you saw when you took the job? Was it recruiting, facility? Uh, players that were already there, uh, individual conversations once you got on campus? No, I can answer that pretty easy. I, I found a bunch of young women that really wanted to win, and they really wanted to learn. And they were willing to do anything. As soon as, they, as, soon as we got their trust, they'd, you know, they would run through a brick wall. I mean, Maddie said it. I mean, she wasn't stopping. She knew she could make a triple. I wasn't stopping her because I already told her she was looking fast, you know. Uh, but, I mean, again, it is, it is a team game. I mean, you look at what happened. I mean, Kaylee started and finished and won. And, and we had a little freshman, her first time in a college real series. I mean, they wanted to win. They still want to win. There's still work that hasn't been completed and um, and uh, like I said they're they're great young women that uh, have a mission Carly you probably had the best view of Vic's catch being at home did you think that I mean it I think it was obvious that she was gonna lay out for no. it. <laughs> that she was gonna lay out for it did you think what were you, what was going through your mind just watching that play unfold there well, when I saw it go off the bat, I was like, man, this is going to do some damage. I mean, I was 
kind of thinking, oh, no. And then she's like a golden retriever out there. It's ridiculous. Like, you throw a ball, she's like, ball, ball. And then she goes and runs and gets the ball. Would you not agree? So she is just, a, I swear, she tracks everything down. So to be honest with you, I really wasn't that surprised that she caught it. Because she's just that fast, and she just she makes me look like a snail. So, um, no, I had no doubt in my mind that she was going to catch that ball. No way. And then even if she didn't, I mean, Tiff was literally two steps behind her, ready to pick it up and throw somebody out. So I think just it's so – honestly, it was kind of routine for us because she, if you saw her at practice, she's doing the same junk at practice, <laughs> just laying out for things. I'm like, you're going to hurt yourself. But – no, she did an awesome job, and from my view, it was really pretty. Uh, to, to Casey and to Jade, um, Jessica Burroughs has been coming on for Florida State and has been almost unhittable throughout most of the World Series, and you both hit home runs off of her, Jade. I think your home run is still sailing somewhere. I, I mean, what were you seeing out from Burroughs today? Jade. Um, to be honest, I was just trying to hit the ball. Um, you know, Corey's behind me saying, stay in my legs, stay in my legs, because that's the strongest thing on my body. So, you know, the minute I heard him say that, I was kind of just sink down in a squat and don't use my upper body at all. Just kind of use my legs. And she's a great pitcher. I mean, she faced one of the best teams yesterday, and, I mean, she dominated. So coming in, you know, we had we know we had to – hit and see the ball and kind of just lay off the stuff that she's been getting people out with all year. And I think me and Cooper and the rest of our whole lineup did a great job with that. Case. Well, when I got up, uh, Vic and Tiff had both put it in the ball, put the ball on play the, on the first pitch, and the defense made great plays. So unless I was going to do a cardinal sin, a softball, my automatic first pitch was a take. Uh, <laughs> and then my first two at-bats uh, – I didn't get my hip square, so my body wasn't completely back to centered. And my goal was to stay a little bit higher. So Jade's goal was to get lower, and mine was to stay a little <laughs> bit higher on the backside. And it worked out for us. So there's a reason Jessica Burroughs is an All-American, and she pitched a great game, and she had a great career. Kayla, you're, you were out there for Casey's great defensive play, um, but you weren't for Vic's play. But as a pitcher, what's it like to see you know, your girls going all out for, for an out? I mean, it means a lot. It was a dogfight out there, and having them make plays and get our backs all game, that's just – that's what we do, and that's what we preach. So, it was nice. Yes, Coach, I wanted to ask about, about Walter sticking with her in the seventh. I mean, what, what was the thought process? Because after you give up a three-run homer like that, momentum shifts, what made you stick with her? They didn't score anymore. They just made it a little bit more exciting. Um, no, again, um, there was there was some thoughts that were going on. Uh, Corey handled some pitchers. I mean, we talked about that, and I trust him. You know, he had a plan. Uh, he knew what he was doing. Um, but I, again, it, it just kind of goes back to uh, what we've talked about all all along. It, it's it's having a plan, going out and staying with your plan, even through adversity, and, and making things happen, and and trusting the people that are out there, just trusting them. I mean, it's you know, it's a win or lose situation, and you know we made the switch the next inning. Kaylee came in, got the three outs, we would get the run, and the game's over. But it's it's the trust and mm -hmm. the, the plan that Corey has. Uh, Wes Siner with AL.com. Uh, Kaylee, if you could just talk about your performance today. Obviously, kind of a rocky start there, but then coming back in at the end and and getting it done. Well, yeah, like you said, I started off pretty not so good and then having Matt come in and shut it down that's kind of key and then when she struggled then Rachel came in and shut it down and then when she struggled I knew that I had to go in there and fight for them like they fought for me so I was just going out there and playing for them and then of course our team was getting our back every inning square and run and keeping us in the game so I was just trying to do that for them. Carly you had a, a big day at bat on this day about a year ago too the same the same <laughs> point in the in the tournament uh just talk about your home run which really came at a pretty big time when y'all were falling behind. Basically, I had had enough. Um, <laughs> uh, being real, I had had enough. I mean, I had probably – it was a great team win yesterday, and I can't. I had no reason to hang my head yesterday. But personally, being real with myself, that might have been one of the worst offensive days I have had um, in a while. 
So <clears throat> I kind of just regrouped and I just, I was like, you forget this. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to go up there and get my hacks in, um, which usually I, this is about this time last year when I did that last year. Um, so in this time of year, I don't know, I just don't really have much of a choice. So I don't know, I just, I went up there and I knew that um, she, from film from last year, I knew that they were going to work me outside because I popped up every pitch outside when we played them at home. So I knew that I just had to stay on top of the ball and keep my palm up like Coach says all the time, and it ended up working out for me today. Three more. Coach, uh, Walters retired Alex Powers with the bases loaded, two, two straight innings. What does that say about her character, and uh, how, how big were those two innings? Well, again, it's, uh, it, you're talking about a team full of characters, and I, I don't mean that as a pun or as a – uh, anything funny, but uh, they they were phenomenal. I mean, the, the fight, and all of them, I mean, they never quit. Go out there and do it uh, your best. When you look in the mirror tomorrow, you gotta you gotta like what you see is looking back at you, and, and they did that today. I mean, you know, it's a game in which there's going to be a winner and loser. But you know, if you go out there and give it your best, and you train to do that each and every day. Uh, that's what they did today. They trained hard and, and came out on top because uh, you know the, the way they played and the way they fought. Jade, when the coaches came in a couple years ago, I know one of the first things they said to you was that you guys were going to go to the World Series and you guys were going to win a World Series. And I know some of you kind of chuckled and were like, "Yeah, okay, you you Arizona crazies," you know. <laughs> but now that you're here and you're you know, two wins away, has it hit yet? And this whole, like, reflecting back to that day when they said those words to you guys, has it hit you yet? Um, it hits me every now and then because I have people come up to me and say that, you know, this is, you only got three more days of playing softball in college. And, you know, I go back in my room, you know, shed some tears so no one can see me because I hate crying. So um, I think last year when we made it is when I we all bought in. I mean, the freshman that came in when he got here, they automatically bought in because that's all they knew. So when I first came here to the College World Series last year is when I really bought in. And now to see that we're actually going and playing three more days, like we said last year, is pretty awesome. Last question. Hey, Coach, uh, I, I know this is still a long way off for them, but just in case, because I don't think we'll get you guys pregame before the World Series final, if it does happen to end up being LSU, your thoughts on the SEC tournament championship game turning into the national championship series, and what are your thoughts on, on LSU and the job that Beth has done? Well, I, I think it would be uh, pretty awesome, personally. I mean, the, the idea of having an all-SEC World Series uh, championship, um, you know, we, we've, we're on record as saying that the SEC is the toughest conference. Um, and we had four teams here this year. We had five here last year. Um, and you always pull for the teams in your conference. So, uh, you know, they know us. We know them. Uh, it, would be, it would be great softball regardless. I mean, but uh, it, would, it would really say a lot about our conference if, the, if we could, you know, if LSU can take two from Oklahoma. Oh, oh! I mean, you know, the whole the whole conference, and, and Beth is one of many great coaches in here that have, have really done a, a magnificent job within the conference. And um, you know, she she has had a, a great year, um, and their team has had a great year, um, and we, you know, I hope they win tonight. All right, coach, ladies, again, congratulations! Thank you, Auburn. Will faith will be decided tonight. They will play Monday or Tuesday. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket. <laughs> This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.